A very popular way to travel to Iceland is by basing yourself in Reykjavik and day tripping in and out of the city. So if that sounds like you, then I made this video especially for you. Hey Team Iceland, my name is Jeannie. I'm your tour guide for all things Iceland planning. Basically, I want you to have the best trip ever to Iceland and that's why I'm making this video for you right now. If this is your first time on my channel, make sure to hit subscribe because every week I give away a new free helpful Iceland planning video and I don't want you to miss it. Today I'm going to talk to you about my 10 favorite day trip options out of Reykjavik. Let's get into it. First up is Glimmer. So Glimmer is one of the highest waterfalls in Iceland and it's such an awesome day trip from Reykjavik because it's only about a 40 minute drive away. When you get there you're going to hike about two hours to get to the top and you'll be met by some beautiful scenery. The Reykjanes Peninsula is, in my opinion, one of the most overlooked areas of Iceland. And now, while this area doesn't have gigantic waterfalls or hot springs, it's a really beautiful area that has some very unique landscapes. Never heard of the Reykjanes Peninsula? It's where you land at the airport at Keflavik. That's the Reykjanes Peninsula. So you're going to drive right through it anyway. And my advice is if you are very short on time, this is a really good option as to explore around the peninsula. Next is South Iceland, which many of you will be doing without my advice. But this is a really easy day trip from Reykjavik because it's really not that far, especially depending on how far you want to go. You can easily do the South Coast in one to two days. My next favorite day trip is doing the Reykjadalur Hot Spring hike. Reykjadalur is a beautiful hot spring river in South Iceland and you do have to hike a couple of hours to get there. So all in all this makes for a really fun and adventurous day trip and that also includes some nice activity with the hike as well. Another really easy and very common day trip is the Golden Circle Route. So all of you have heard of the Golden Circle Route but this is so easily done in a day especially if you're only doing the main sites. If you're looking for some of the Golden Circle hidden gems, then make sure to check out my video that I've already made about that. My next favorite day trip is something that I've made up. And I refer to this area as the Golden Circle Extended. What does that mean, Jeannie? Oh, let me tell you. I call it the Golden Circle Extended because it's just next to the Golden Circle. Um, basically, it's comprised of Hauafoss, Hjalperfoss, and Gjauen. So you can easily hit all those spots in one day, or you can just do one of them because they're amazing by themselves. These areas of Iceland are not as often travel because they're a lot harder to get to, but they're so beautiful. Another easy day trip is the Snifelsnes Peninsula. Hmm, although I usually recommend to do Snifelsnes in two days, it is possible to start from Reykjavik, go around the peninsula in one day and come all the way back. It's gonna have to be fast and you're gonna have to prioritize your stops, but it is doable because it's pretty close to Reykjavik. Also towards West Iceland are two beautiful waterfalls called Hraunfasser and Barnafoss. So these are very unique waterfalls. They're not your average fall from the cliff waterfalls, but they're just as beautiful in my opinion. And because of their location, there's not a ton of tourists stopping in this area. And this can easily be done as a day trip from Reykjavik. And one of my favorite places to visit in Iceland is Vestmanaer, or the Westman Islands. The Westman Islands is a series of islands that are off the south coast of Iceland. And so in order to get here, you need to take a ferry that leaves near Saljulandsvoss. This is a beautiful area to explore. You can do some hiking, get a quick lunch, or just walk around the town. Well, and last but certainly not least, I can't forget about Reykjavik. Wait. Jeannie, isn't this a video about getting out of Reykjavik? Yeah, but don't forget to take some time to explore around Reykjavik itself. So this is such a beautiful city. It's the northernmost capital of the world. It's dotted with adorable colored houses and there's tons of things to do and see for free. So even though a lot of people are wanting to day trip and see all the beautiful nature, rightly so, don't forget to take at least a day and explore around Reykjavik as well. All right, my friends, so let me know, are you taking any of these day trips out of Reykjavik or are you traveling any of these areas? Let me know in the comments below. That's all for today, my friends. I hope you loved this video. Make sure to give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you here next week, same time, same place, for another Iceland video, and happy planning.